Hey everyone, what's going on? So as we all are now aware that Xiaomi does not allow full screen gesture being used with any third party launcher. While we were able to get past this issue in MIUI 12 using some workaround that I have already made a video on that you can find in here, it seems that after updating to MIUI 13, this workaround don't work anymore. As you can see that I have this device running MIUI 13 and I have Nova Launcher selected as my default launcher, but when I try and use the full screen gesture, it does not allow me to do that and forces me to use the system launcher. So in this video I'll show you how you can fix this issue and use full screen gesture with any third party launcher in MIUI 13. And not specifically in MIUI 13, if the previous version of the fix does not work for you in MIUI 12, you can try this fix as well. So before we get started with this video, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and help me make more videos like this. Now this video may seem long, but it's really important that you watch this entire video in order to fix the issue properly. So the reason the full screen gesture does not work with a third party launcher is because Xiaomi has now integrated the full screen gesture settings within the home screen settings. And that is the reason that when we have any third party launcher selected as a default launcher, Xiaomi forces us to use the system launcher when switching to the full screen gesture. So to fix the issue, what we're going to do is that we're going to replace the system launcher with an older version of the system launcher that used to allow us to select a full screen gesture with a third party launcher. And that you'll find in the description. So just go ahead and download that application and try and install it on your phone. If you're successfully able to install that application, you're good to go. You can disable the navigation gesture and you can skip to the end of the video to know more details about it. But if you fail to install it on your phone as it is a downgrade, the system does not allow it. Here's how we can fix it. Now before we get started with this fix, uh, there are some things that I need you to know firsthand. The first requirement for this fix is a computer. So you need a trusted computer. And the second and most important thing is that Xiaomi has designed the full screen gesture in a way that it will not at all work with any third party launcher. So to fix that issue, we are going to have to rely on a third party navigation gesture application that you'll see later in the video. Now to get started, the first thing you need to do is go to the settings in the about section and tap on MIUI version multiple times until you get a toast that you are now a developer. Once you get this toast, head back and then go to the additional settings. Now just scroll down and you'll find an additional option here says developer option. And then scroll down to the debugging section. Now here you need to turn on this USB debugging and USB options. Now as I've said that you need to use a trusted computer as enabling these options will give your computer control over your phone. So make sure that you use a trusted computer and then check in everything and then tap on OK. And also turn on the install via USB option with USB debugging security settings option. Once you have turned on all these options, connect your phone with your computer using a USB cable and then select file transfer. So now we're done here with the phone, let's head to our computer. So along with the MIUI launcher, you'll find a link to another file which is a platform tool files. So make sure to download both these files on your computer and then extract it anywhere on your computer. Once extracted, open the folder. and then copy the MIUI launcher apk file to the same folder. So I already had one copied in the folder, I'll just delete that one. And now press the shift button along with the right click, that will open up this window. And here you will see an option as open PowerShell window here or open CMD here. So you may see many of these, so just click on it and this is the window that you will get. You can also get a CMD window as well. And here you just need to type dot backslash adb space devices and hit enter. So if you see your device listed here as with this code, it means that your device is successfully connected with the Android debugging bridge. And now we can perform the installation. So 
So you may have the launcher file name differently. So just rename it to something really simple like I'm renaming it as one. So that will make it really easy for us to install it. Now go to the CMD window or the PowerShell window and then type in dot backslash adb space install space minus d. This minus d is for downgrade and space our file name which is 1.apk. Now before you hit enter make sure that you have the third party launcher that you want to use selected as a default launcher. Do not keep the system launcher selected as a default launcher. It's really important that you keep the third party launcher selected as your default launcher. Once you're done hit enter. And then you'll get this success message. If you do not get this success message or if you get any error. Just check for the spelling. Actually, I'll just put in this uh, text as a file in the same folder so you can just copy and paste it here. But if still you get any other error, just try and Google it and see what seems to be the problem so you can find a fix for that in Google. And once uh, you see this success message, it means that the system launcher has successfully been installed in our phone and it means that the version has been replaced with our version which was 4.23. So now we're done with the computer here. Now we'll head to our phone. Now as you can see that the system launcher has been replaced with the alpha version 4.23. So now we can go to the settings and enable the full screen gesture. So we already had our default launcher selected as Nova launcher. And now I can enable the full screen gesture without any issue. Now as I said earlier that replacing the launcher will only enable us to enable the full screen gesture and uh, the gesture will not respond. So as you can see that whenever I swipe anywhere on the edge of the screen it's not doing anything. So that is why I recommend before you do this step, what you need to do is go ahead and download the full screen navigation gesture application. So just open your play store and then here type in FNG. Now I recommend using this application as the full screen navigation gesture as I find this application be more stable. There are so many other navigation gesture applications that you can give a try. But I find this more stable as we are using it as our default navigation we need to use something more stable. So just go ahead and install it. And now enable the full screen gesture. So allow all the permission that it requires including draw over other apps and accessibility permission. And then we can set up our gestures. So as you can see, there are three triggers here, bottom edge and left and right edge. So I'll tap on bottom edge. So you can select up to four gestures here, but I'll just set it to one. And I'll select the action as uh, home and quick swipe up and then swipe and hold as recent apps. So you can customize it as per your wish and then I'll make sure to enable the quick second reaction. This way when you swipe up and hold for a shorter time you will get the recent app tray. Now you can customize all these settings as per your wish. And to mimic the MIUI full screen gesture I'll also enable the swipe left and right action for previous and next applications. So when I swipe left and right, I can easily access the previous or next application that I have. Now we'll set the left and right edges for back gesture. So just select back in the quick swipe and then you can select anything in the swipe and hold. And you can customize it as per your wish or whatever action best suits your needs.
so once you're done as you can see that uh, the full screen gesture is now working but as you can see that when I swipe up and hold I do not get the recent app tray even when I tap on this recent apps button I do not get the recent app tray and you might have noticed that I keep getting some pop-up that says that the system launcher is crashing so as we have replaced the system launcher with a downgraded version the system launcher is crashing in my system this might also happen in your system if it doesn't happen that's really good but if it happens here's how you can fix it the first thing we need to do is select the full screen gesture first now as the system launcher is crashing the home screen setting might also crash so it might crash multiple times just try and open it it will open once it's open just select the full screen gestures And now just go back and go to the app section and tap on manage apps. Now here tap on updates. And then here you'll find the system launcher so just update it. And that's it. Now as you can see that we get the recent apps tray. Now remember to not remove the full screen gesture application from the recent app tray as it will stop working. So if it stops working just enable a shortcut in the quick setting or the control center by adding it in the quick settings. So just edit it and you'll find this application just tap on it to enable the full screen gesture again or you can tap and hold that will open the application and once you get this toast that the fng is enabled the gesture will start working again and also i'd recommend changing the application settings so the app doesn't get killed by the system so enable the auto start and full screen mode and also set the battery restriction to no restrictions so that's it. That's how you can use a full screen gesture with third party launcher. That's it for today's video. I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in my next video.